Good morning, friends. So I'm doing my Goodwill thrifting day, and today I have a small human with me. So wish me luck. I've actually never really gone thrifting with my kiddo much because usually thrifting is me time, so I just leave him home. But camp is not on this week. So if mama wants to thrift, mama's got to bring the kiddo with me. So hopefully we have some good luck today. Hopefully he's my good luck charm. Loving the two-tone on this vase and the shape. It is, let's see, $3.99 and handmade artist signed on the bottom. I think I saw a chip. Yeah, that, I mean, that's not terrible, but I think I'm gonna, pro oh yeah, a little bit there too. So I'll probably pass on it, but I do love the two-tone glaze. This store has a lot of like great pottery for Ikebana, you know, where you put the flower frog in. Especially this one would be really cool. It's definitely, I don't know. $4.99 seems a little steep, so I'll probably pass on it. This is absolutely ridiculous, but I kind of like it. It's handmade, it's five bucks, a little more than I'd want to spend, but it's really cute. As a sponge holder, I mean, how cute would that be? I think I'm gonna have to get it. I think this will be my first purchase today, which I know is a weird one, but I'm a sucker for anything quirky and weird. This is a beautiful collection of amber glass, which you guys know I don't typically pick up, but these ones I was somewhat tempted to buy because they're very solid and we're heading into fall, but $7.99 each seems crazy. And then this is 10 bucks and then these are $7.99 each. So yeah, I'll be passing on those. This is cute. <laughs> Little mama and baby statue. Uh, yeah, so definitely passing on all that amber glass. You guys know I am always hitting up the mug aisle to look for a handmade mug. So this one is really beautiful. It is $1.99, so I think I'll get it. Artist stamped on the bottom. I love the glaze. It's really pretty. I also kind of like this one, but I feel like the writing on it is maybe a little amateur. This is a cup of gratitude. Drink it. But the size is really good. I think it's a little more... Yeah, it's three bucks. I think I'm gonna pass probably on this one, but there's also behind here like this and then back here are these mugs. And sometimes these are, can be the ones, yeah, made in France. So $1.99. Okay, maybe I'll get a set of these because they're very cool. I have a few reseller friends that pick these up when they find them and they sell well for them. So I may grab a set of these. So now I'm also looking at these, which I kind of figure out who these are by because there's a few of them, which I love the blue. I think they might be hand blown. And then these are considered a vintage style that doesn't go for a lot, but I do love the hexagon shape. Hexagons seem to be the thing. So I got to look all these up and see if any of them are worth picking up. So this is an example of a mug. I wouldn't pick up that studio pottery because it's just not finished enough. It's a little more crude. Looks like someone just learned how to make a handle for the mug. It wouldn't be comfortable to hold. So this is a style I would not pick up. I usually try to pick up pieces that definitely look more finished and polished. I seem to be coming across a lot of pottery on this stop. So this I think might be horsehair. In it, if that's the case, then horsehair pottery actually has quite the following and people get really excited about it. So I think if this has no chips, I'm gonna bring it home. So I was just noticing it looks like some glaze from another piece must have rubbed off on this when it was in the kiln. So oh, I think I think it may pass on it then because of that. Oh, I don't know if that's a game changer or not. Oh, that's tricky. Oh man, I wish it didn't have that spot. Walking into stop number two. God, there's so much Halloween stuff now. I'm just not ready. So yeah, excited to see what this one has. This may be my favorite thing I have found in a while. It is strawberries from Italy, you guys. It is wall decor, it has a little hook there. This would be like a souvenir piece you'd pick up if you went vacation there. It is so cute to me. I am very excited for this find and this is absolutely coming home. Tons and tons of studio pottery pieces, although they're all a little bit wonky. This one I I like, but this one is they're just a little bit crooked. But this piece that is back here looks very interesting. I like the lid. I'm hoping it's not chipped. It's definitely heavy. $4.99. Okay, I need to investigate this one a little bit closer. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at all this handmade pottery in the cart. Oh, she's moving it. She's on the move. I'm gonna have to follow her around. 
So I honestly thought that the stop was gonna be a bust because it usually is. And I have a whole cart full of very interesting studio pottery pieces, plus this guy. So wait to see what's in my cart right now. So look at all of these handmade pieces. They're all seven bucks and under. Very cool shapes, all handmade. So they're coming home. Okay, you guys, my Goodwill luck is kicking in. So I'm gonna grab these. They are $1.99 each, brass frames. And then there's so many more cool things actually in the frame aisle for a change. So I've also found a bunch of Mexican pottery frames. So $2.99. And then here's a couple other ones too. And I think this one was only a dollar. So these are absolutely coming in the cart. How are we feeling about these? So they're $3.99 each. The frame is wood and they're, you know, just prints, but they're definitely vintage. I feel like they fit that, you know, cottage core vibe. Oh man, I think I may have to get them. The frames are really good. If I like did some rub and buff or gold paint, they would be very cool frames. So I think I'm gonna get them, just take a risk on them. So I also just grabbed this guy out of the new cart. It is <laughs> incredible. It is $14.99. I gotta do some more research on it before I get it. But I was like, what? It's like, look at that gold mane. So breaking news, starting today in our Goodwill area, you actually can sign up for a rewards program. So you get 10% off your first purchase and then you get rewards from there. So thank goodness my first purchase is this stuff. I have a whole cart full of things. A very cute collection of vintage brass frames of different sizes. So $2.99 for the set. I think I'm gonna pick these up. So this is bamboo something. This is actually kind of cute. I don't know if it's too far gone. It has some wear and patina on it. So it's $3.99. I don't think purple's the half off color. I think I'll probably pass on it. I'm having such good luck with mugs today. Oh my goodness, so here. It's another really pretty studio pottery mug, a dollar, exactly the price I want to pay. And it has a mate to it. I think the colors are just so pretty. And then this one I'm on the fence about because it is $4.99, but it has a cover on it. So it's really neat. You need to check it out a little bit more and see if there's any chips inside. So just as a FYI to you guys, this particular style I've tested in the past and it has lead according to my test strips. So it's kind of like a PSA. When you find pieces that are vintage before you use them, you probably should check to make sure that they don't have lead in them. Um, that pattern, I know, at least in the sugar dish, definitely did. So just as a public service announcement to everybody. I'm also gonna pick up this newer planter. For me, it's only $4.99 and I have a bunch of plants that need bigger pots and I love little feet on it. You guys know me in Wicker Animals. This bunny basket is so cute. I definitely don't need him because I already have one like this. And I usually don't pick up the painted pieces, but that's so cute. This is a very good sponge holder. If you ever see a pottery piece like this that has the cutouts on the side and you're like, why did they do that to the mug? It's actually a sponge holder. So it is, I think, $2.99. So I think I'm going to pick it up. You guys know I collect Russian nesting dolls and this scale is $3.99, but she's empty. She's not nesting anyone, so I think I'm going to pass on her. I have never come across such a nicely preserved <laughs> serving dish like this. Wow. I don't think it's ever been used. Look at this stamp. So it's that monkey pod wood. It's $12.99. I'm probably gonna pass on it because it just takes up so much space in my booth, but it is really pretty. 
So I just found this glass paperweight and it actually has an artist's signature on the side. And when I looked it up, it was worth something. So 10 bucks is more than I'd ever want to spend, but I may take a risk on it. Here's someone's entire collection of these adorable tea, or I guess you could also use them as large shot glasses. They're in really good shape. Two bucks a piece, which oh, seems steep, but honestly for Goodwill, that's probably pretty good, the best you're gonna get. So I think I might pass on them. If they had all the blues, I may get them because I really like the blues. I'm not sure how I feel about like the red and the brown but I have never seen this large of a collection at a Goodwill. So I'm not sure how I feel about pieces like this. I think it's probably worth picking up because it's so well done. I just have never sold anything like this before, so I'm not really sure how it will do. So this is a very cute kitty. Cat stuff sells. I don't know about this piece though. It has a little bit of patina in the center. So let's see how much it is. $4.99, man, I don't know. That's, a, that's another risk. I feel like I keep finding things on these shelves that are risk. Although this is something I have sold before, these types of painted trays. So $4.99, it has the hook on the back. So assuming there's nothing dented in it, I definitely will be bringing this home. Okay, friends, so we are back in my studio space. It's the next day. I'm not gonna do a full haul of every single thing that you saw in the footage because that would be long and boring, but I am gonna highlight some of the pickups that were kind of unusual for me, and then some that were also, I felt like, really noteworthy. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So the first strange pickup I wanna show you from this haul is this beautiful heart-shaped iridescent paperweight. You guys know I don't pick up glass. So the fact that I picked up this piece of glass and that it's heart-shaped, I mean, this is highly out of character for me. You guys know this. So the reason why I picked it up is I thought one, it was kind of neat. And I was just like going through the aisles. I'm like, this is kind of a neat piece. And I'm trying to train my brain to recognize glass because glass can be really valuable. So I decided to do a Google lens on it because I noticed right here along the edge was a signature. And anytime you see a glass piece or anything with an artist signature, it's worth doing a Google lens and looking it up on the app. So I took a picture of it. Google, 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 Google spit out a name, which is Robert Held, and his pieces are actually quite valuable. So even though this was $10, which I was like, am I really gonna get this piece of glass for $10? The answer was yes. And I decided to pick it up and his pieces went from the low side, 125, and then just up from there. So I thought, you know what? This is a good piece to kind of try out and see how glass does. And this will be available on Etsy. The next piece is this piece right here that I have to show you. This one is also very unusual for me to pick up. I don't pick up a lot of like porcelain figurines, especially ones this large. So this is actually California pottery. You can tell on the bottom. So this is a vintage piece. It's in beautiful shape, which is remarkable since it has so many points that could easily break on it. It's 15 bucks, so not cheap, not cheap. But I know pieces like this are really appealing to like younger generations. And this one being so like special and with the gold and the color tones, I don't know. It just really spoke to me. Comps in it are very good. This will be available on Etsy, but yeah, it was a very unusual pickup for me. So not an unusual pickup, but something I wanted to highlight these beautiful brass etched trays, you guys know brass trays are a good seller for me, but anytime they have this painting on them, they tend to do even a little bit better. So if you're out looking for trays and you find, you know, a plain tray, pick it up. But if you can find a tray, like an Indian brass tray that has this painted detailing, it doesn't have to be perfect because oftentimes the detailing goes away with wear and wash. Um, but as long as there's enough color to make it visually interesting, I usually pick it up. So this is only $4.99, which is great. And it has the hook on the back. But this was just kind of like an FYI to you guys. You know, anytime you see these, I think they're worth picking up. And I usually list them on Etsy. So I picked up some Italian stuff when I was out. And I always am looking for Italian pieces like this beautiful strawberry porcelain piece. The reason why I was so excited about this piece is one, I think it's, it's cute. And strawberries and food themed things like this made out of porcelain, especially like those cabbage plates and bowls, all that stuff still really hot with people right now. But Italian stuff in general is a popular thing. And the reason why this type of piece is the embodiment of something 
like that could be strong on Etsy is people like strawberry stuff. Strawberry stuff is a theme. So you could take advantage of that keyword. And then Italian stuff, Italy, Italian porcelain, Italian pottery, that type of stuff is a strong keyword or key phrase. And so when you're thinking about buying things and listing them online, people are finding this stuff because they're searching for certain terms. So when you can find pieces that embody very common and popular search terms, usually that means that your listing might be shown and you actually may make a sale. So that's kind of like a search engine optimization. So that may be more detailed than you wanted to know. But anyways, that's what I'm also thinking about when I'm going to pick things up. So here are some other Italian things that I picked up. I have sold these in the past. They sell well online, they sell well in markets and in booths. Just know these ornate florals are not even paintings, they're just prints, they do well. And these also are made in Italy, they're metal, they're vintage, again, with cottage core, you know, that modern Victorian vibe going on. People are looking for Italian metal pieces and I can use those keywords in my titles because that's exactly what describes them. So these were only $1.99 each, which is awesome because the margins on this are very good. And they also have the hooks on the back so you can hang them up. So these are very exciting. They come in a variety of sizes, just as an FYI. So I've gotten ones that are half the size and I've gotten ones that are even bigger than this that are like almost double the size. So just, just so you know, sometimes they have like a bubble type of glass or plastic. These ones are a little bit more flat. But anyways, anytime I can find these for cheap, I always grab them. So another unusual thing for me to pick up is this beautiful gold and glass decanter. Now you guys know, I don't know if I've ever picked up a decanter. You know, glassware, barware, stuff like that. It's just not something I usually am picking up or selling. But I did just happen to um, come across a 70s piece of furniture. My mom saw it. We decided to buy it, put it in the consignment area in our booth space. And because I kind of had that on the mind because I had like a built-in bar area, I was just like, oh, this would be really good to style that space. So that's why I grabbed it. The one bummer about this piece is that the stopper, it had all this tape on it. I'm like, why did they tape this up? And I just assumed it was to kind of protect, you know, when you insert it in, it can like, you know, make noise and crack. Nope, it is definitely cracked all the way through and broken. So I was like, man, like that doesn't always happen. Now I can probably return it. I have the receipt, you get store credit. I'm going to that Goodwill often enough, but it was five bucks. And I think for styling, it actually could be just that cool piece that I have on hand rather than go through the hassle of returning it. So I got a TBD on this, but such a bummer because it's actually like a valuable piece and a very cool pickup. But you know, that just happens sometimes. So the reason why I didn't get a chance to check the stopper beforehand is because the stopper and this were all taped together. And it wasn't until I was decided to go clean it that I found out that it was shored up by some tape. So very annoyed by that. But anyways, it is a cool piece and I am starting to look for these more often. So the last few pieces I wanna highlight are these um, Talavera Mexican pottery frames. So there's actually three of them each are a different size. I just love how they can go together. They're definitely belonging in the same family. And I love how they're different orientations, different sizes. They were really cheap, a dollar to three dollars, which is crazy. These are souvenir pieces that you would get if you went to Mexico. And they're just really lovely and well done. And you can, you know, insert the picture there. Now I have never found picture frames before. I've only ever found the animals. Um, that's typically what's common or, or the bowls and plates and things. I don't usually pick up anything that's serveware, but I do pick up the animals if I find them in the reasonably be priced because there's always a market for people collecting Mexican pottery. But these frames are an unusual pickup for me because I've never found them, like I said. So I'm very excited to get these up on Etsy. I'm probably going to sell them as a set because I feel like someone might want all three to kind of create, you know, that cool, you know, vignette in their home. So we'll see. We'll see if I do them together or if I actually do them separate. I just have to price it out and see how valuable they would be a piece versus together. Sometimes if something's not super valuable on its own, you put it with a few other friends that look like it and go together. And then you actually have a set that actually can get you some decent return. So that's what I got to look up. But yeah, I was very excited to find these and they actually have like the information on the back. This is 
what type of pottery it is. Yeah, really fun find for me. Okay, so those are all the more unusual, noteworthy things I wanted to highlight from yesterday's haul. But you guys may remember from the footage, I did pick up a lot of studio pottery pieces. So my usual workflow is I go out sourcing, I bring the stuff back here, we talk about it in a haul like I just did, and then I will take it to my booth spaces if I'm gonna bring it to a booth. So this week I decided, you know what, why am I going to have that stuff home when I'm just going to put it in a booth space? So I actually decided to go from Goodwill and drop all that studio pottery off at my vintage booth and price it right there. So we're actually going to cut to some footage of me hauling that studio pottery in my booth space at Tiny Brambles, which is a vintage shop in downtown Portland. Okay, so here are some of the pieces that I picked up. I can't believe how well they go together. So they definitely were curated by the same person but i think they're just studio pieces not necessarily done by any sort of designer but that doesn't seem to matter because people just like interesting handmade vessels like this guy i was like what is this i love the handle it's so weird looking has a hole in the top and then i thought this was a beautiful piece because it's not only does it have like this interesting detailing with the actual clay, but also the glaze is really pretty. Actually, all these have like textural elements and interesting detailing. I mean, look at this one here with this like deep swirling and the very, I would say organic shape top. I just, I don't know. I like pieces like this that are not perfect. And then this one I thought was really cute because it almost looks like berries and the shop is called tiny brambles so brambles are berries and so i thought wow that's kind of you know it makes it makes sense for the shop where it's going to stay so i brought that in and then this one i just like the little indents and the glaze and this one has the sweet little handles there so anyways i thought each of these pieces were very unique and cool and then another piece that i got which is over here was also part of the same pile of powder that came in. I don't know if this is the same as these because this one definitely is more geometric where these ones are more organic, but still again, like the colors go together. So I just was so thrilled to find all of these pieces at Goodwill. Okay, so welcome back to my studio. I wanted to film the clothes here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me at my local Goodwills. Let me know in the comments below what items were your favorite and what you thought of all the unusual pickups that I got today. And especially if you know anything about this particular artist who does this glass, let me know because I know nothing about him. If you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my haul videos here on YouTube, make sure you check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Take care.